Hello everyone, welcome back. So we are again here to discuss the topic projection of lines. So if you remember in the previous videos, I am already done with these two cases, case 1 and case 2. And today in this video, I am going to discuss the case third in which line is perpendicular to the one of the principal plane and parallel to another. And in this video, I am going to discuss with you line perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So let's see the question. So this is our question and according to that question, I have imaginations over here in all the four quadrants. So let's see the question first. Line AB 35 mm long is perpendicular to HP. So line AB is given which is 35 mm long, which means the true length of the line is 35 mm long. Okay. And is perpendicular to HP and its end B is 10 mm from HP and 15 mm from VP. And whole lies, line is lies in one quadrant, which means if line, if you taking line in first quadrant, then it will remain in first quadrant. Okay. So it should not go to any other quadrant other than your first quadrant. Draw the projection in all the four quadrants. So you have to make this line in all the four quadrants. This, this is what examiner wants. So let's see this question in all the quadrants. So this is imagination in first quadrant. So and B is given. So you can see here this is a B. First we will see how it looks like perpendicular to your HP. So you know that when my line is like this, exactly vertical to your HP, then it makes an angle 90 degree with your HP. So that's why we can say that this line is perpendicular to HP, but it doesn't make any angle with your VP. So it remains parallel to your VP. Okay. So my case is fulfilled that line is perpendicular to HP and line is parallel to VP. Okay. So this is my imagination over here. Now we'll see how much it is away from HP and VP. So it is given that and B and B is 10 mm away from HP and 15 mm away from VP. So if my line is in first quadrant, I can say that and B 10 mm above HP and and B 15 mm in front of VP. Okay. So this is my imagination. So if I have end of line AB, so I have to project my end B first. So let's make a projection of B first. So take a line. So I can start from anywhere. I'll start from here. So first you project your end B. So above HP it is 10 mm. So this is 10. Again, take a line. And in front of VP it is 15. So this is done. Okay. So first make a normal teacher so you can understand better way. So this is B dash. Uh, improve its text height. So okay, make it 6. Okay. So this is your B dash. So make it move near to actual point over here. Okay. So this way you can also make a nomenclature of the top view of point b so i'll make like this i make it copy put over here select it and remove the dash only by just deleting it okay so this is your front view and top view of end b of your line a b which is 35 mm long Okay, so you can see here the point B I have projected in front view and top view both. Okay, so now you are going to make a complete line. So you can easily see this in this question from the front view. From the front view, you can see the complete line and the projection goes on VP. Okay. But from the top view, when you see from the top, you will see only a point, this point A and B. You cannot see the complete line AB from the top view when your line is perpendicular to HP. Okay, so you can also see in this imagination as well. So in the front view, you can see the complete line and from the top view, you 
you will only see one point which I project over here on HP. So I know that when the top view of the line is point. Okay, so I take the point and I know that it should be here. So I make point over here. Okay, and from the front view, you have a complete line and you know that just start from this point only. Okay, so, and it goes perpendicular to your HP. So above it is 35 like this. So you can see that this is my actual line. I'll make it thick. This is my actual line and this is the end A. Okay, so I make like this now. I make a nomenclature now. So this is put over here. Okay, then select it and remove the B and put right down A, A dash. So you can see that this is my front view of line AB which is seen from here and the impression goes down here on BP. Okay, and your top view is point and it goes down like this. So this is your top view and this is your front view when line is perpendicular to HP. Okay, now one more thing to note in this question that Whenever you make a nomenclature of a point, that is very important to see here. So you see that when you see from the top of this line, the first point is seenable is A. Then we have B point. Okay, in this case only. If I see from the top, the first point we will see is A and then we will see point B. So your nomenclature is also like the same. You have to write here like this. Okay, I'll make it copy this A and put over here like this and select it, remove the dash. And okay, so you can see here that Okay, I'll make it a little bit near to like this. A, B. Okay, so this is the very much right nomenclature of this point. Okay, A, B. Because from the top view, you will see first point A. Okay, then you have to write A first prior to your B. Only then you write B. You cannot write here like B, A. Okay, because the first point seen from the top is A. So you have to write A, B. You cannot write here A, B, A. Okay, so I think you understand this point. So I am left with only dimensions. So make a dimension. So this is the end point. So this is the end point. So you can see this is 35. Again, take a dimension. This one, this one. This is 10 mm. Again, take a dimension. Okay. This one, this one, this is 15. Okay. So you can see here all dimensions have been given, all normal picture is done. Okay. So this is the completion of my projection of line when it is perpendicular to HP in first quadrant. Okay. So now I'm going to make this question in second quadrant. So you can see here this is the line AB. In the second quadrant and again above HP it is 10 mm and behind VP it is 15 mm it is behind VP because it is in second quadrant so make a projection of and B first then we will make other things so I'll take a line you can start from anywhere okay yeah I take a line above HP it is 10 so this one done again take a line now you know that in the second quadrant, both front view and top view always above your XY line. Okay, so this is 15. This is done. Okay, now I make a normal picture here so you can understand in better way. Okay, make a copy. So B, this one, put over here B dash. Again, copy B, top view of B, and put over here. So you know that. Okay, done. So now I'm going to make a line only so you can understand again 
when you see from the front view you will see the complete line so b is a, b dash is the front view of and b start from that point and above and above you are going to make this make it like 35 and done so this is 35 it is done you make it tick okay make it tick after the dimensions so first make a nomenclature so copy a dash copy put your o snap and ortho off and a dash and put over here okay in the same way you have to select b as well copy and put in front of b because again the same reason because from the top you will see first a so you have to write a b do not write b a okay so now take a dimension again this one and this one so this is 35 okay In the same way take a dimension linear so this one this one 10 mm again take a dimension this one this one 15 mm okay so in this way you can make the all dimensions and make your line thick so that it can be differentiated from your projection lines which remain your thin according to the convention of lines okay so this is a coaster in the second quadrant in the same way i'll make this coaster in third quadrant so line is perpendicular to hp you can see here this is the third quadrant imagination so this is line a b b point is given that how much it is away from hp and how much it is away from vp so first make your point b so i'll start from anywhere i'll start from this side so make your like this so you know that in the third quadrant your front view will be goes downward from your xy line and top view goes upward from your xy line so from the front view i can see the distance from hp so hp distance is b hp distance from b is 10 mm so i take 10 downwards front view again take a line so again again take a line now this one and behind vp it is again 15 so like this okay make a nomenclature first so you can understand so copy copy your b dash and put over here because front view always goes downward in third quadrant again copy b and put over this side okay so now you know that from the front view i can see the complete projection so make a projection over here just take a line and in downwards 35 this is done okay make your line thick so you you can understand better way like this okay these all are projection lines okay now you know that point is also here okay okay i'll have to make point here also you know that this one okay so point is here so you have to make a point here okay so take a point then this one you can see here this one is a point that is done okay it is done so you can see here that all point is given so i am rest with only nomenclature so take a copy put your like this and this is b dash so and this is b so take this one and put over here remember it it is always a b do not write as b a okay so now i'm left with only one dimension that is a dash and put over here so this is the completion of my question in third quadrant so now i make the dimensions so you can see here this one this one okay take a dimension this one this one 35 
take a dimension again this is 15 this one this one this is 15 take a dimension again this one okay this one this one this is 10 so you can see in better way that all dimensions have been given okay okay so we are left with only one more case that is in the fourth quadrant so let's see how to make in fourth quadrant when line is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so again so same thing first you have to project your end b so let's make a projection of point b so take a line so you can start from anywhere okay you make sure your ortho is on okay so now you know that in the fourth quadrant both front view and top view will always make in the downwards from your xy line so in the downwards take the distance from hp which is given 10 mm so 10 mm okay so this is your front view again take a line make a distance of 15 mm from vp and this is done now make a nomenclature first so you can understand better way so make this copy put over here this is b dash in the same way b copy and put over here so this is the front view and top view of end b now i'll make a line so take a line okay so now you know that from the front view you can see the complete line when line is perpendicular to hp so the front view of end b so you can see here this one and downwards it is 35 okay so this is my line okay i'll make it thick so you can understand so you can see this this is my line okay so now i'm only left with the nomenclature of a e. so again i'll make like this with the help of copy command copy then a and this is a b remember it it is always a b do not write it as a b a okay and again copy this one and this one a dash b dash okay so this is the question in the fourth quadrant now i'm rest with the only dimensions so take a dimension this one this one 10 mm again take a dimension this one 35 okay and more dimension this one and this one this one 15 mm so you know that this is 15 mm okay a distance from vp okay so this is done i hope you understand this question when line is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp okay rest with only one thing that is a point from your top view now take a point and you know that this is the point okay so you see here that from the top view you will see the top point here so i'll make, make you have to make a point over here okay so that's it done i hope you understand this question very easy question and little bit complex because uh, students are not understanding but how to make a point and how to project your line in the perpendicular cases okay so this video i am going to tell you how line is perpendicular to vp i hope you understand this case if you have still any query please comment in the comment section and if you like this video please go to the like it okay thank you very much